Everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? <gasps> Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. Hey! Hey. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Idiot. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. There, look. I think that's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed.
sure. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen? So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Ah! Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Stay here. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she's take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I... Beside myself, I... If I lose... If I lose Bessie, I lose everything! Oh, calm down, mister. <laughs> I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit! Oh, God damn it, Archer! <laughs> okay, let's get after him. A pleasure, as always, gentlemen. I think you have it. From here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. We're gonna have to shoot him. Push up on him.
good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right. Okay? I guess. Take them now! God damn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bounty? Maybe we should turn him in ourselves. Still time. Sean. Hey, what are you all doing? Arthur. <laughs> you know, you're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. <sighs> but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Oh, <laughs> 
Need for fancy talk, eh? Raise your hands now. Hey, listen! Arthur! Oh, oh Arthur! Hey, you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. So everything's going to be okay. Mr. McGuire is Uncle back. Sean is Come back. On. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. If you get a bump on the head. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. 
Now, Deadeye Maguire's back. <laughs> yeah, takes one to And don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. I'm <laughs> sure you will. Even you, you grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you fine folks? <laughs> I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This is stupid. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. Yeah, listen, oh, my let friend. Let have some fun. <laughs> Do you He's know been through the a lot. Maid? I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Mm -hmm. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall <laughs> over drunk. <laughs> 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 It was diddle 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 all the day. Put my hand upon her toe. Mark well what I do say. She says, young man, you're rather low for the diddle diddle diddle, diddle all the day. I put my finger on her knee. Mark well what I do say. She says, young man, you're rather here for diddle 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 all the day. I put my arm around her waist. Mark well what I do say. She says, young man, you're in great haste for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her thigh, mark well what I do say. She says, you're getting pretty nigh to my diddle 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 all the day. She says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle 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 all the day. She says, let's lay down on the grass and diddle 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 all the day. And we diddle diddle did too. Very nice. But how about something a little more civil? Ah, it's good to be back. I even missed you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to so shame. Excuse me. Of course, Dutch. You can tell the difference. Look at me, with the bell of the ball. <laughs> Stop it, you! Quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening.
I mean it. Come here, Arthur. Sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. Sorry, Mary Beth. Say, Arthur, it's okay to dance. It doesn't mean we won't stop thinking you're angry and sad. Well, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's about all I can muster. Let me ride on the ring dang do. And the ring dang do. Now, what, what is that? that? Soft and round like a pussy cat. Got a hole in the middle and a split in two. And that's, that's what, what you call, call the ring dang do. <laughs> Took me down into her cellar. Said that it was a mighty fine fellow. <laughs> Whiskey too. Let me ride on the ring dang do. The ring dang do. Now, what is that? Soft and round. Like a pussy cat, got a hole in the middle and a split in two. And that's what you call the ring dang do. said, Now you have lost your maiden head. Make your living off the ring dang do. The ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat, got a hole in the middle and split in two. That's what you call the ring dang do. She went yeah, off to be yeah. a whore, <laughs> hung uh, this time upon her door. A dollar each and three for two. Take a crack of a ring dang do, the ring dang do. Now what is that? Soft and round like a pussy cat, got a hole in the middle and it's split in two. And that's what they call a ring dang do. <laughs> You're a dirty man. Mm -hmm. ah, yes. Ah, ah. 